Sat Nam. This will be the Kriya for tolerance. It gives you a pretty good physical tune-up. It's also just a really good preparation for meditation because it's really stimulating the navel center and the abdominal region, but it's also about moving that navel energy up to the higher centers. We're really opening up the upper triangle, right? The crown chakra, the throat chakra, the third eye. We're opening the heart. We're opening the heart center. Okay, it's only with an open heart that we can have true compassion, see the other, realize the other is us. Integrating it, okay? We're integrating the energy with our whole aura. So it's a really good set for a meditation. You're really gonna go a lot deeper in your meditation. The exercises are designed to train your brain and your nervous system to have more patience, more endurance, more tolerance, and more humility. I really do feel the results, and I'm so excited to share it with you. All right, come sitting in easy pose or cross-legged. Tuck the chin slightly and make sure you're not arching your back. So just focusing on a super, super straight spine. Take your right hand and we're gonna do something called bear grip. So you're gonna lock your fingertips with the right palm facing down and the left palm facing up. Right palm down, left palm up. Now listen carefully, we are going to push the navel center with our fists as we exhale completely all the air out of the lungs. And then we're going to inhale, release some of the pressure as you inhale and hold the breath for seven or eight seconds. After holding the breath for seven or eight seconds, you release again. And as you empty the lungs, remember to push on that navel center with the fists. I'll just walk you through the first breath at my pace and then continue at your own pace. So I'm inhaling, I'm holding, I'm suspending the breath, and exhale and press the fists into the navel, and inhale again, and hold, and exhaling, pressing the fists into the navel. I'll call you back in three minutes. After the very next time you exhale, I want you to inhale, 
hold, take an extra sip of air and hold, 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 and tight, tight, tight bear grip with those fingertips. And relax, exhale, arms down, relax. And just sit, sit for a moment. Okay, the next thing we're doing is called Sat Kriya. Sat Kriya has a few variations. You might have done it before with your index fingers up. Today we're going to do it with palms flat. Right thumb over left or left thumb over right. It's up to you. Sitting on our heels. Spine is straight. And when we do Sat Kriya, if you've never done it before, I'll give you a little explanation. You are chanting as you inhale. You're chanting or mentally chanting Sat. And you're exhaling Nam. Sat. Nam. Nam. Sat. Nam. And we are raising our arms overhead with palms flat together. You're really focusing on the navel point so that when you're pulling in the navel point, you're saying Sat. Relaxing the navel point as you say Nam. Eyes closed. Eyes focused at the brow point. So do your best. Keep that spine straight. Chin slightly tucked. Just focus on keeping those elbows as straight as possible. I will call you back in three minutes. lack of safety, anger, any of your emotions from the lower chakras, they're going to move up to the higher chakras and you're going to expand them into creation, love, abundance for all, thriving for all. You're going to take all that energy that you have and you're alchemizing it, okay? So arms straight, elbows straight, palms together, tight together. You are alchemizing your energy to use for the greater good. You can do it. Spine straight. Keep up. This mantra, the whole cycle from the seed to the blossoming, the whole cycle of creation. We are creating from the seed of our soul, anything of our heart's desire. We are creating it and putting it into the physical universe now with this mantra. Listen carefully. Inhale, inhale deeply. All the way up, pull the energy up, pull the glute lock, send the energy up the spine, up to the fingertips. Exhale and sweep the arms out to the sides. Put the hands in the lap and just relax and breathe normally. Okay, this next move is probably the most challenging part of the Kriya, for me anyway. Um, you're really engaging your core, you're pointing your toes, 
on your buttocks with your legs straight, pointed up to a 60 degree position. Palms flat on the floor, just behind you like this. However, you can modify by coming down onto your elbows. So you'll notice I will switch a couple of times between my elbows and uh, up on my hands. But you do wanna keep an eye on your lower back. Okay, so do listen to your body and just focus on keeping that eye directly on your big toe. So the drishti is really important. When you can keep that eye focused, you have a lot more endurance. When you look around, it has an effect on your nervous system. You lose focus, it becomes 10 times harder. So keep the eyes on the prize and pump that breath. So we're pumping the navel, we're doing breath of fire. It's in and out like a dog panting, but through the nose. If you wanna do it through the mouth, that's okay too. So breath of fire, legs 60 degrees, do your best. If you have to bend your knees, that's okay too. Modify as you can. If you need to put your legs down for a moment, just get right back up into it. We'll go between one and two minutes. This is your resilience. This is 2022. This decade is the decade where we all must have resilience. Go, you can do this. Now listen very carefully. We're going to inhale, hold the position. Now hold the position, but exhale the breath and apply the root lock, the mula bond, okay? That means holding the muscles of the anus rectum sex organs with the breath out. Now release everything. Come immediately into easy pose, cross your legs and start laughing. Start belly laughing. Okay, so this is my favorite part of the Kriya. This is really fun. We sit in easy pose, bring our hands into fists at the shoulders. We're gonna inhale deeply and we're gonna actually hold the breath. So while we suspend the breath, we're punching. Just like boxing, we're punching forward with alternate hands. Use that moderate force, like don't just punch weak, like punch like you're really boxing. And remember, we're holding the breath for as long as we possibly can. Now just continue boxing. And when you have to let your breath out, go ahead and exhale, but just immediately inhale again and hold it for as long as you can. Don't stop punching. Again, just holding the breath as long as we can. Exhale when we need to. Keep going at a rhythmic pace. Uh, exhale when you must. And we're gonna go for about three minutes. <laughs> Sudden, I'm 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 s
bringing energy up the spine. Exhale, relax the arms. This is the last part of the Kriya. It actually has two parts. So the first part is a spinal flex in easy pose. And it looks like this. So we're just using our shins to sort of, uh, to sort of pull ourselves forward, to pull our chest out and our shoulders back. And that's the inhale. And when we exhale, we are rounding our shoulders. Second part is shoulder shrugs. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. And so we're going to combine the two. It looks like this. Forward, back, up, down. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. So let's go for three minutes. Here we go. We're opening the heart center. Okay? It's only with an open heart that we can have true compassion. See the other, realize the other is us. Okay, there's no separation. So we're opening that heart center. Just sit for as long as you feel. Your hands can be wherever you like them. And just let thoughts come and go. Meditate here for a few minutes and relax your breathing. so much for joining me today. Please leave your comments, like, subscribe, share, 
uh, share your experience if you uh, have felt a transformation or felt a shift from this Kriya or any other one of my videos. I really love the feedback and the questions. So um, thanks for coming and see you in the next one, guys. Have a great day. Satnam.